Three homes destroyed in overnight fires in Indianapolis. The people living in each of those homes displaced. News 8's Julia Ding joins us live outside of one of those homes at 25th and College with the latest. Julia, what have you learned so far? Yeah, good morning, Emily. Definitely a heartbreaking holiday headline here, but the entire family got out in time before a smoke alarm could even go off. Firefighters tell us it was somebody driving by who alerted them. Now, we've learned it was an electrical fire, and I want to show you it started in one of the upstairs bedrooms here in a wall, and you can see, even though it's dark, you can make out the exterior damage. Nobody was hurt, and the fire was confined to that bedroom. The estimated damage is about 40 grand. Unclear if the residents had found another place to stay yet. This happened just hours ago, around 1.30. Uh, there were two adult females and six children inside the house. They said that they were alerted to the fire by a passerby who knocked on the door and told them there was a fire. And then they evacuated the house prior to our arrival. A team of about 40 firefighters knocked the flames out. Two other early morning fire investigations were following, both within about a mile and a half from here. Around 3 o'clock, twin brothers evacuated a fire in the 1200 block of North New Jersey. And the porch fire caused about $20,000 of damage. The brothers, age 73, are okay. And then around 3.30, a family of four evacuated a fire in the 1400 block of Alabama. It destroyed their home, along with gifts for the family's two young children. Right now, their two cats remain unaccounted for. Now, the fire that tore through the upstairs bedroom here on College Avenue, again, was electrical. Investigators tell us they believe it was accidental. Emily? Julia, thank you. Let us know if you get any more information. Also, 